Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie, and for today's video, I'm gonna be watching Bloody Birthday. So, sorry, my cat's meowing next to me. Thought that it'd be fun to do this as another one of those, like a little pre record before I watch the film. And for those of you who don't know what this film is about, it's a pretty old one. I am just watching it on Shutter, and it is about a group of three kids that go on a murder spree to celebrate their 10th birthday. I have heard about this film, but I've never watched it. Um, some of you will probably recognize this iconic image. I'm sure if you're a horror fan, you have seen it before. And yeah, I'm excited to watch this one and I'll be back with my thoughts. Okay, so just finished with watching the movie and this is definitely an interesting one. Um, it is from the 80s, uh, so just keep that in mind. It has that very 80s feel to it, uh, but I really liked it. So like I said, it's about this group of three kids. Um, They're all born on the same day, and to celebrate their birthday, they go on a murder spree, and kind of some of the weird things about it is that it all tends to, like, all the events seem to take place kind of over the span of the weekend um, because they are still in school and they talk about having this birthday party um, and try to get like their teacher to excuse everyone from homework because everybody's going to be coming to the birthday party and multiple people die. There's like at least two funeral scenes which is very odd like because multiple people die but they only have two funeral scenes um, and they basically happen almost like same day uh, which of course is not how a funeral works that's just how they do it in the film and there's not a lot added and like the funeral scenes don't add much to the rest of the film so it doesn't really like they probably could have done without those scenes um, but they put them in there anyway, and there's also, like, again, it's an 80s movie, an unnecessarily large amount of female nudity in this film, uh, which of course, like, you know, back then you would get tons of, like, full frontal female nudity and nothing from the men. You see, like, one butt <laughs> at one point in one scene, but, and I mean, they're teenagers, so of course, they're... And uh, there's teenagers in the film, it's not the young kids, but uh, it's like their older siblings and teenagers in town, so of course in the slasher film it's expected, but there's this really long and very uncomfortable scene where Debbie, who is the girl of the three kids, there's three, there's two boys and a little girl, she puts a pupil in a closet that's connected to her sister's room and charges kids like 20 something cents or whatever to peep through the hole and it's uncomfortably long and also one of the little boys in the neighborhood ends up telling his older sister about it and instead of taking that moment to be like hey not cool don't do that, um, you know, and she tells him not to play with Curtis, one of the other little boys, because of something that happens, which I won't get into because it's a spoiler, but she tells him she doesn't want him playing with him or going to the junkyard anymore, but she doesn't take that moment to give a lesson on, like, maybe not peeping on women through the closet or saying, like, oh, you know, I don't want you hanging out over there anymore. Like, doesn't give a shit about that. She, like, thinks it's funny, uh, which, again, I get it that it's an 80s film, but it's just, uh, it's creepy and uncomfortable and did not like those parts. Um, but I did really like the film. I definitely thought that it was interesting and a different route. I mean, creepy kids is always going to be terrifying. Um, I liked the deaths were definitely interesting. That's something that I kind of miss from older horror films is they didn't really give a fuck about deaths or kills making sense. I feel like nowadays we focus too much on wanting them to make sense. 
Uh, and unfortunately, I feel like that gets in the way of them being cool and unique, which is disappointing. Um, so they're definitely, definitely interesting and pretty unique. Uh, some parts don't really make a whole lot of sense, but that's what's fun about it. Is that it doesn't necessarily have to make sense. They're just cool. Um, they also, something that I like that is kind of cheesy is they use astrology to explain basically what's wrong with these kids and why they are the way that they are and that their birthdays all being on the same day is what affects them and I really like that again it's super super cheesy but I mean I like astrology and I thought it was really cool uh, even though it was kind of cheesy uh, but yeah I really generally like the film last act kind of doesn't really make sense it's a little bit of a complaint again but just because one of the um, older teenage characters Joyce she kind of starts to catch on that there's something wrong with these kids and that they may be responsible for these deaths, but she agrees to babysit the Debbie little girl and like bring her brother with her to babysit. And I'm just like, if you at least think that there's something wrong with this group of kids, why would you like voluntarily go babysit them? Like that makes absolutely no sense. Um, but they kind of had to do it to force this final act um, because they really specifically had to have them in Debbie's house um, to make it make sense. Uh, but I just, it, it made no sense to me of like why would you then voluntarily go babysit these kids. But it's fine, it's an 80s film. Like I said, not everything has to make sense uh, for it to be a good film. But yeah, I really liked it. I think it's definitely worth the watch. Uh, again, I just watched it on Shudder. So if you have not seen this film and you put it off, I highly suggest it. Especially if you like a good 80s cheesy film. Especially if you find little kids creepy. It'll it'll definitely give you the heebie-jeebies. That's for sure. But if you have seen this film, let me know what your thoughts are on it in the comments below. If you did enjoy this, please do give a big old thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for more horror related content. Before I go, a quick shout out to my Patreon. Thank you guys so much for helping to contribute to the channel. If you know the perks to being a Patreon, links are in the description below along with all of my social media. And if you join, it really, really does help out me and help out the channel. But I will see you guys again later with another video. Bye!